This video is brought to you by leddistributors.net. Hello, and welcome back. So we need a way of connecting our flex strip to our power supply. Now on one end of the power supply is this connector, and this is a male DC coaxial jack. To connect to it, you would use a female DC coaxial jack, like you see here. On one end, you have the connector, and then on the other end, you have two lead wires, one red and one white. In order to connect to the power supply, all you have to do is just plug it in. Once you've plugged it in, then you have 12 volts of DC power going to these two lead wires. So there are a few ways that you can uh, connect your lead wire to your flexible LED strip. One way is to actually solder them on, or uh, what we're going to show you today is how to use a solderless connector. This is a solderless connector. On one end you have the connector, and then you have about five and a half inches of lead wire. Now if you look at the front of this connector, you'll notice this black piece on the connector. This is the locking device. If you pull out on that locking device, you are ready to insert the flex strip in. If you push in on it, then it locks the flex strip into place. So one thing you should notice is the front of the connector versus the back of the connector. This is the back of the connector and what you should see here is that the locking device is a continuous width all the way across the connector which is different from the front where the locking device is thinner towards the middle and then the ends are a little bit thicker so just remember that is the front so first of all we're going to go ahead and keep the red wire on top that is going to be our positive voltage and then go ahead and pull on that locking device Hold it between your thumb and your index finger and then we're going to take our flex strip and make sure that the positive sign is on top and slip it into the uh, channel right where the black and the white pieces meet on the solderless connector. And once you push it in you're going to feel it when it actually fits into place. So now go ahead and lock the locking device. If you rock it back and forth, that will sometimes help in, uh, in locking it. And then you will notice if I pull on this, um, it's on there pretty snug. So then next we're going to go ahead and connect the lead wire to the two lead wires coming from the DC coaxial jack. So we'll go ahead and take the red wires first. There's a few ways you can do this. You can use uh, butt connectors, um, you can solder them together, but in this case we're going to go ahead and use a wire cap. So we'll go ahead and twist that on, and that's made our connection. Now if you take the white and the black wire, those will be our negative lead wires. And we'll go ahead and use a wire nut once, once again for this, twist it on and you've made your connection and you've lit up the flexible LED strip. Well, that's how you use a solderless connector. I hope this video has helped. Please visit us at www.leddistributors.net.